Hi guys, so today we will discuss a Facebook interview question. So I will attach the link to the problem statement in the description. But yeah, uh, so the question is simple that there are n bulbs that are initially off. Now you are basically going to take some turns and in first turn you will turn on all the bulbs. Then in the second turn you will toggle every second bulb. In the third round you will toggle every third bulb and similarly in the ith round you will toggle every ith bulb and in the nth round that is the last round you will toggle only the last bulb. So you have to return the number of bulbs that are on after n rounds. So the meaning of toggle here is that if the bulb was off then you will basically switch it on and if the bulb was on then you will switch it off. And like you are going to take the n rounds to toggle the states. So if you didn't understand the problem then uh, let's try to understand it with the help of a test case. So test case is that given input n is equal to 4 that is 4 bulbs are there and after 4 rounds of toggling the only 2 bulbs will remain on so let's see how so initially all the 4 bulbs are off like I have noted here off 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 so in the first round you are going to switch on all the bulbs so all the bulbs are now in on state now in the second round you are going to toggle every second bulb so that is uh, you toggle the state of the second bulb from on to off and similarly the toggle the state of the fourth bulb from on to off. Now in the third round you are going to toggle only the third bulb, every third bulb. So the third bulb is this one. So we toggle it straight from on to off and like all the other states remain same. That is this first is on, second is off and fourth is also off. And in the fourth round you toggle only the fourth bulb. That is this one. So this becomes, this becomes on from the off. So after these four rounds only two bulbs are on that is first and fourth. So let's see how we can solve this problem. So one thing which you should note here is that after n rounds the bulbs which will be on are the bulbs which have been toggled odd number of times. Okay, because our initial state is that the bulb has been off. So if we toggle it only even number of times, if this state is toggled only even number of times, then we, then we will come back to the state of off. But if it has been toggled odd number of times, then only it will be on. Right. So if you see here this first bulb, this has been toggled odd number of times. Let's see how. Like it was toggled once in the first round and that was the only time it was toggled. So one is odd, hence it is uh, basically on after four rounds. Similarly, fourth bulb is on. So if you say here, it should also have been toggled odd number of times. So it was toggled once in the first round, then it was toggled in the second round and then it was toggled in the fourth round. That is total three number of times. Okay. So only the bulbs which have been toggled odd number of times after n rounds will be on. So this is the key observation here. So let's uh, proceed further. So this one is that only that bulbs which have been toggled odd number of times after n rounds will be on. But now we only need to find the number of bulbs which have been toggled odd number of times. Okay. So let's see how we can find that. So let's first try to see how many times the ith bulb will be toggled. So let's assume i is equal to 10. Let's try to uh, see it with the example. So the 10th bulb will be toggled in the first round. Okay. Because every bulb is toggled in the first round then it should be toggled in the second round as well because in the second round bulbs will be toggled are second fourth sixth eighth and tenth right in the third round it won't be toggled similarly in the fourth round it won't be toggled because in the fourth round the bulbs which will be toggled will be uh, 4 8 12 16 like that uh, and in the fifth round it will be toggled okay because in the fifth round uh, the bulbs which will, be which will be toggled are fifth tenth fifteenth twentieth Similarly, not in it will won't be toggled in the sixth round, seventh round, eighth round, ninth round, and it will be toggled again in the tenth round. Okay. So these are the uh, like i is equal to ten will be toggled four number of times. That is one to five ten. So if you see here that this one to five ten, these are basically the factors of the number ten, right? Like one is the factor of ten, two is the factor of ten, five is a factor of ten, ten is also a factor of ten, and these are the only factors which ten has. So it means that our problem is reduced to finding the numbers from 1 to n which has odd number of factors because odd number of factors means that it will be toggled odd number of times that is after n rounds they will be in their state will be on. So we have established this that the number of times the ith bulb will be toggled is equal to the number of factors it has right. So now we have to find uh, which numbers have odd number of factors. So one key thing here is that uh, basically that the factors basically they exist in pairs so what i mean by that is if x is a factor of m then m by x should also be a factor of m okay let's see how let's say 
m is equal to 10 okay so we say that 1 is a factor of m so it means that 10 by 1 should also be a factor of 10 right and that is because 10 by 1 is 10 and 10 is also a factor of 10 we say that 2 is a factor of 10 so it means 10 by 2 which is 5 should also be a factor of 10 and that is correct similarly we say that 5 is a factor of 10 so 10 by 5 that is 2 should also be a factor of 10 and similarly we say that 10 is a factor of 10 so 10 by 10 that is 1 should also be a factor of 10 so the factors always exist in pairs that is if x is a factor of m then m by x should also be a factor of m since the factors exist in pair so then number of factors for a number are almost always even right because they exist in pairs then what are the numbers which have odd number of factors so the only case a number can have odd number of factors is the case when x is equal to m by x right because in that case what would happen that x into x will be equal to m that is x square is equal to m so it means and if x square is equal to m means that m is a perfect square so only the numbers which are perfect square have odd number of factors okay and let's verify that assumption let's say m is equal to 16 okay so this means what are the factors it has 1 is a factor so 16 by 1 should also be a factor so 6 that is 16 is also a factor of m now 2 is a factor so it means 16 by 2 that is 8 will also be a factor right Similarly, 4 is a factor so 16 by 4 that is again 4 will be a factor so these are the only factors which 16 has 1 2 4 8 and 16 that is 5 so we have established that only perfect squares have odd number of factors so this means if you are given a number if you are given n bulbs so only the perfect uh, basically the number of perfect perfect squares between 1 and n will be in the on state after n rounds okay so that is your answer so if we look at the code of this so the code is very simple so uh, like if we are going to implement a api bulb switch which takes n as the argument where n is the number of bulbs so how many bulbs will remain on after n rounds of toggling so it is simple basically square root of n bulbs okay and this static cast in time doing because square root n in c plus plus returns a floating point number so i'm just casting it to integer so one thing to note here is that in a facebook interview you should always make sure to handle the edge case and the edge case is that if n is less than if n is a negative number so in that case you should basically discuss with interview interview your interviewer that what you should do so in my case i am just throwing a runtime error but you should basically uh, make sure that you discuss this thing if you miss this edge case and you if, you if you directly code your method to return this value so most probably you will get disqualified because you have like missed a genuine edge case right so i think that was all i had for this video uh, i hope that you guys understood this so this was a number theory question and this was taken basically this was asked in a facebook interview so thank you guys for watching the link of the problem statement is in the description section so do check that out as well thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and comment on this video and i will see you all next time